this is Sarah and welcome to my crochet channel today's video I'm going to show you how to make this super simple dog sweater that will work for any size dog now this is Rosie and she's modeling it for you she's a little nervous <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to show you how to make a dog sweater for your dog, and it will work for any size dog. Now, this is a free crochet pattern on my blog, and I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. The first thing that you're going to need to do to make your dog a sweater is to measure around their neck. You're going to need to measure at their widest portion of their body around this way. <laughs> Good girl, Rosie. And then you're going to need to measure them from the back of their neck <laughs> to their tail so that you know how long you wanna make your dog's sweater. And you need to write these measurements down so that you will have them in order to make them a sweater that will fit them. What you're going to need to make a dog sweater for your dog or even cat is worsted weight number four medium weight yarn and it depends on the size that you're making you can need anywhere from three and a half to eight ounces depending on what size you're going to make and I'll talk about the sizing in just a little bit. I'm going to be stitching today with my eye hook this eye hook is a 5.25 millimeter crochet hook. I'm going to be using a needle for weaving in my ends and of course a pair of scissors. The yarn that I'm going to be using today and what I used on this sweater is just one of these Karen cakes that I have on hand. And for today's demonstration, I'm going to be starting with the green, moving in to the blues and the, and the yellow. I did it the opposite for this one. I'm going to be making a sweater for Maximo. Of course, you saw Rosie in this one, and Maximo will be in the bluish one. But you can use any worsted weight number four yarn that you have on hand. You can even just use up your scraps and put them all together and come up with a really fun sweater. You can do solids, stripes, variegated whatever you want this is just a basic dog sweater that you can have a bunch of fun with now the pattern is written with an extra extra small an extra small a small and a medium and depending on which one of those four sizes the stitch counts are already set up for you if you want to make your sweater bigger I'll give you instructions as we go how to do that and that's where those measurements that we took are important and they're really important throughout because remember a five pound dachshund is not shaped the same as a five pound chihuahua or poodle dogs bodies are weird <laughs> and so we have to accommodate that as we work now Rosie's sweater was a small and so I'm just going to go ahead and make Max's the same size. He's a little bit shorter, a little bit smaller, but I like my sweaters to have just a little bit of stretch so that they come on and off relatively easy. I'll be crocheting Maximo's sweater in the small size, but I will give you instructions for the sizes that are written out and then also how to make the pattern bigger. We're going to begin with a slip knot. And then we're going to chain four. We're starting with the belly band of the sweater. And so we want it to be nice and stretchy. So we'll be doing foundation double crochets for the first row. If you're doing the extra, extra small size, you need to stitch 40 foundation double crochets. If you're doing the extra small, you'll need 44. If you're doing the small, you'll need 50 and if you're making a medium sized sweater you'll need 54 foundation double crochets as you work this row make sure you measure and match it up with the belly size of your dog that we took around the center 
All right, so let's start with our foundation double crochet. Yarn over, go in the fourth chain from the hook, and pull up a loop. Yarn over, and just go in that first loop. Yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over, and go through the next two. So what we've done is we've made a chain and a double crochet. Yarn over, we'll go through that chain that we made and pull up a loop. Yarn over and just go through the first one. Yarn over, go through the next two, yarn over and go through the next two. So just to make sure you understand what we're doing is we're beginning at the belly band of the sweater and you need to stitch the amount of foundation double crochets you need for the sweater size that you're making. And again, I'm making the small size. So I'm going to be stitching 50 foundation double crochets. I've stitched my 50 foundation double crochets, and now we're going to join in a circle and make sure that you don't twist that circle. And when you're counting your double crochets around, make sure you count that chain three at the beginning as your first stitch, or you'll be off by one. We're gonna to join to the top of that chain three with a slip stitch and chain three. Now you'll notice that we have a little gap here and all you do is take your needle and thread it on that tail and just go in the bottom of that last stitch of that row and close that up. And we can finish weaving that in later if we want to. All right, now for row two, we're going to place one double crochet in each double crochet around and our chain three counts as our first double crochet and we'll just place one double crochet in each of the stitches working all the way around the belly band now again make sure that you uh, measured your dog around the belly and that the belly band fits nicely around you want there to be a little stretchy room, but you don't want it hanging off your dog. And you also don't want it too tight that you have to wrestle them to the ground to get that sweater on. We want this to be a nice, easy sweater to slide on and off. And I designed it so it doesn't have any buttons or snaps or anything. It's just a nice, easy sweater that slides right on over their head. All right, so I'm just stitching one double crochet and each double crochet around. Then I'll join back here to the top of my chain three. I completed this row of one double crochet in each stitch around. We joined to the top of the chain three with a slip stitch and chained three. Now we're going to be continuing to repeat this row and the amount of rows depends on the size you're making. All right, so we're going to repeat row two three more times for the extra, extra small. You'll repeat four more times for the extra small. You'll repeat five more times for the small and six more times for the medium. Now, if you're making it bigger, this is where you need to decide how many rows that you want. And then also, for instance, a dachshund that has a longer body might need a few more rows. So check your measurements, check it on your dog, and see how many rows that you want to make. Now the pattern is written for the standard sizes and that's why I wanted the pattern easily adjustable because remember, dog's bodies are weird. 
<laughs> so since I'm making the small, I'm going to do five more rows so that it fits Maximo nicely. So my chain three counts is my first double crochet and I'm going to double crochet in the next stitch and it each stitch around, join to the top of my chain three and I'll do this for five more rows so that it fits Maximo nicely. I've completed the amount of rows I want for my belly band. Again, I'm making the size small, so I'll have seven rows. And this is what we've completed right here is the belly band. Now we're going to go and work the back portion of the dog sweater. And the way that works is you're going to stitch, you've joined to the top of your chain three and chain three and then you're going to stitch across half of your stitches. If you're making the extra extra small, you're going to make 20 double crochets. If you're working the extra small, you'll work 22. If you're doing the small like I am, I'll do 25. And if you're stitching the medium, you'll have 27. And if you adjusted it so that it's larger, divided in half, and stitch that many stitches and be sure and count your chain three as your first stitch. So since my chain three counts as my first stitch and I'm stitching 25, I'll only need to stitch 24. All right. So I'm going to have a total of 25 double crochets across and this is beginning the back section of our sweater. The number of stitches for the back section is half of the amount of stitches that you have for your belly band. Once you've stitched half the amount of your belly band, minus 25, make sure you count that chain three as your first stitch. We're going to chain three and turn. Then we'll count that chain three as our first double crochet and we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those double crochets across. So we're no longer working in the round, we're working in rows. One double crochet and each double crochet across. And your stitch count again will remain the same for this portion of the sweater. I completed that second row of one double crochet in each double crochet. I'm going to chain three and turn. Now, <clears throat> depending on what size you're going to make is going to depend how many more rows that you make. If you're stitching the extra extra small, you'll need to stitch three more rows. If you're stitching the extra small, you'll need four. If you're stitching the small, you'll need five more rows. And if you're stitching the medium, you'll need six. And if you're making it even bigger, you need to go on your measurements about how many rows you need to make to fit your dog. I'm making the small, so I'm going to make five more rows. My chain three counts is my first double crochet, and then I'll double crochet in each stitch across, chain three, and turn, and repeat.
I've completed the amount of rows I need for the size small. And make sure you have enough rows for your dog. Again, use those measurements that we took. All right, for this next row, we're going to be stitching one double crochet in each double crochet across, and then I'm going to show you how to add the neck band. So I've already got my chain three, and I'm going to go ahead and double crochet across. You can see my uh, yarn color changed again because I'm using that striping yarn that I just have on hand. So we stitched that additional row and now we're going to make some chains and this is going to be looped over to make the neck band. If you're making the extra extra small you're going to need to chain eight. If you're making the extra small you'll need to chain 10. If you're making the small you need to chain 12 and that's how many I'm going to be doing. If you're making the medium 14 and if you're making it larger you need to go by your neck measurement measuring all the way around plus the additional chains to make sure that the neck band is going to fit your dog's neck. And again, even if you're making one of the written sizes, measure anyway and make sure it's going to fit your dog's neck. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're going the right direction and join that chain to the other side with a slip stitch and chain three. And this is how we're going to be making the neck band for the sweater. And so now that we've connected and we've chained three, we're going to place a double crochet in each of those chains. And I've got 12. Stitch to double crochet in each of the chains across, and then we're going to go right to those double crochets of that last row and stitch a double crochet in each double crochet around. And we'll do this all the way around and we'll join to that chain three. I've double crocheted all the way around in the chains and in the stitches. I joined to the top of that chain three and I only chained two. And that's because this next row, we're going to place a half double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through all three of those loops. We're stitching a row of half double crochets. one half double crochet in each of the double crochets around. All the way around to reach back to our chain two and then we'll join. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
one half double crochet in each stitch around join to the top of the chain two and only chain one and that's because we're just going to place a single crochet in each stitch around and this is just to finish off the neck band one single crochet in each of the half double crochets around the neck band And we'll move all the way around and join to that first single crochet and then we'll tie off. I stitched that one single crochet and each stitch around I'm going to join to that first single crochet. Get in there. <laughs> with a slip stitch and we're going to tie off pull it to the inside and then we can weave that in and that's the neck band of the sweater now the sweater can be worn just like this if you want a nice short sweater but I want to show you how to add a skirt onto the bottom of the sweater and this works for both boy and girl dogs because there's plenty of space for their business all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab this yarn and we're going to line up right here on the side at the same stitch where we began stitching the back of our sweater all right so we'll just go down here and join our yarn in make sure you're all lined up and even we're going to chain three and then what we'll do is we'll just stitch across the same amount of stitches that you did up here i had 25 because i made the size small so whatever amount of stitches you began with on your back row of your sweater is the same amount of stitches that we'll add at the skirt of the sweater so my chain three counts as one and so I'm going to add 24 more stitches and this is going to make the back of my sweater just a little bit longer to cover the bottom of my puppy you do not have to add this this is an optional skirt and like I said it works for both boy dogs and girl dogs for keeping their little bottoms warm So I'm going to stitch across my chain three counts as my first stitch and then I'm stitching 24 more stitches so I have 25 stitches and again it's the same number of stitches that you used when you added the back onto your sweater or onto your belly band. I stitched that first row 25 stitches and what you need to do before you go any farther is take a good look at it and make sure that it's centered in the middle so that it's going to lay where you want it to lay if it's off you may need to adjust it some alrighty alright so now I chain three and I'm going to turn chain three counts is our first double crochet and I'm just going to place a double crochet in each stitch across and again the stitch counts going to be the same because we're not adding or subtracting any stitches so one double crochet and each double crochet across chain three and turn So you can see I did that second row now the amount of rows depends on your dog for the extra extra small I would just add one more row for the extra small I'd add two for the small I'd add three 
and for the medium I'd add four. But keep in mind, every dog's body is different and you may need to add more or less rows on this skirt. And you want to be careful not to go on top of the dog's tail because it can get in the way of them doing their business. So the key here is just to make the sweater long enough to be right above where their tail is. Now I'm making the small for Maximo, so I'm going to add three more rows to mine. And again, remember, if you're making it larger, you may need to add quite a bit more rows for a much larger dog. That's again where those measurements are very important. So I'm stitching one double crochet and each double crochet across and I'm going to do this for three more rows. I've completed the amount of rows that I need for Maximo's sweater on the bottom half of his sweater. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to do a trim working all the way around so that it has a nice trim. And we're just going to stitch single crochets. So we'll go across the bottom stitching a single crochet in each double crochet. Then when we get to the corner, we're just going to turn and work single crochets evenly up that inside of the skirt. And when I work on the sides of stitches, I try to put the stitches in the sides themselves and not the holes. I think it makes it lay a little better. It's a little more work, but I just think it makes the edge lay just a little bit better. So we're just going to work up the side, stitching a single crochet where we can, trying to make it look nice and even, and working in stitches if possible, just so it's even. There isn't a, there isn't a certain number of stitches you need on this side. You just want it to be even and not pull and not pucker. All right, so then when we get to the underneath side of the belly band, we're just going to place a stitch in each of those stitches across the bottom of the belly band. And don't stitch these too tightly because you want that belly band to still stretch so that it fits the puppy right. Once you get across that belly band, you'll be at the other side of the skirt and we'll just single crochet down the side evenly like we did on the other side. Trying to stay in the stitches and not the holes. There we go. All right, almost there. And then when we get back to that first single crochet where we stitched across, we'll just weave that in, tie that off, and pull that to the inside, and use our needle and weave that in. And the only other thing we have left to do is to do the trim on the upper side of the back and the upper side of the belly band. All right. And that's the way the bottom of the skirt will look with the trim. And now we just need to do the same thing up here. So we're going to join our yarn again, this time under the neck band. There we 
we go. And we're going to stitch one single crochet in each of those stitches across. And of course, this is the other side of the chain here where we added that chain for our neck band. There we go. Stitching a single crochet in each of those chains. And then when we get to the side, we're going to just evenly single crochet down that side the same way we did on the side of the skirt. Trying for it to just flow nicely and look pretty. So I'm evenly single crocheting down the side of that back portion that we added, of course. Get in there. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little tight. Got to, you know, work on it a little bit. All right, so I went across and now I'm evenly crocheting down and then I'm going to crochet across here and then back up to here and join. So here's Maximo's sweater all finished up, belly band and the neck band and all the trims done. It just needs an applique or some sort of embellishment if you want to add it. You know, here's Rosie's. I added this little flower and I'll put that flower link down in the notes also so that you can have that if you want it. But this is just a basic dog sweater pattern that you can use any worsted weight number four yarns with and it works for any size dog from a two pound dog to a huge dog just by measuring your dog and working it out with the stitches and the rows. Any colors of yarns, variegated striping, whatever you want, make it Christmas, make it Halloween, make it Valentine's Day, however you want to make it for your dog.